It's on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Wait, how how it's, do we start this thing? <laughs> it's, it's, it's been a minute, hasn't oh, it? Yeah, uh, it's been forever. Yeah, well, I think the music just stopped, so that means that uh, it's time to get started. So, yeah. uh, hey, welcome to uh, the ArtCast podcast. My name is Sonny G. My name is Chan Lee. And uh, we've got a probably about a month's worth of stuff we could talk about, but really there's one big thing that mm-hmm. we want to talk about, right? Yeah. This past Saturday um, was the uh, the show, the live show, and uh, I tell you, I, I good gosh, Chan, I get, I get, I'm going to cry before we even start talking about it. It uh, was just it was, an incredible day, right? It was just right? an amazing experience. Like, we started out in this crowd with five people because you know, the guys before us, they weren't that good. Yeah. <laughs> there, there were just these musicians, old musicians who did jazz. And then, well, uh, all right, to be fair, they actually were very musical. Yeah, but they were as very far artistic as, and it, everything. It, it, it just it didn't seem like it was appreciated. It enough. didn't. There you go. That's and, the that's the problem. The, yeah. the crowd itself wasn't necessarily a jazz yeah. crowd. So, to to their defense, that was the thing. But I know what and, you're and, saying. But we start out with like a handful of people in this room, and Dad gets up and he starts speaking, and it was just awesome. Like the way he was talking to everyone, it was. It was like it was a conversation with him, not just as he's big, giving this big old speech. And then um, he gets up there, he starts to paint and everything to this music, and it's just like, <laughs> it's awesome. Like, that's the only way I can describe it. Um, it. We start drawing in crowds, and by the end, we've got a few dozen people inside yeah. this tiny room. I think there was a, a little over 100 that ended up packed into this room yeah. that's designed to seat Oh, uh, I think she said 200. We weren't the, actually on the stage. But we though, weren't so. on the stage. That's because we, we ended up setting up basically down in the crowd. Yeah, we had to move some chairs and everything. Move just chairs to the side, and that was part of our setup time, which kind of stunk because it took away from yeah. well, from we, the actual show. You, you but still we made painted it, chill. it in 45 minutes. Yeah, I mean, we, we did it well, in 45. You, we, you cracked it down really fast. I mean, on my part, I was supposed to... Instagram live it, but my phone was messing up well, at the time. Well, we had technical issues. Yeah. We, everybody, we know how that I, I mean, is. We, we I didn't mean, let that bother us. Crap started hit the fan, but we start. We just kept going and yeah. pushing through, and it was awesome. They, that's what, and that's what you do. You, yeah. you flow. Mm-hmm. At, uh, a sweet, uh, sweet, sweet person uh, told me that. Dawson word. got it on that. Um, GoPro. That, the GoPro yeah. the entire time. So Dawson, it's not like the, footage uh, was lost. My oldest son, Chen's, uh, Chen's older brother, he uh, he got lots of cool footage that uh, that I'll start mm-hmm. editing. And then I'll I'll definitely do a uh, kind of a hey here's a cool what happened yeah. video to show everybody. But um, he got some good shots in there. It, I saw it, him. Like it, he was up by, behind you when oh, you were doing some yeah, of the wings. And no. he got you when you took that cardboard piece and you spread yeah, it across and spread the it. Wing. <laughs> that, that was that was awesome. And I know you did it just for the show. But well, because like, uh, it honestly you, did not. It didn't do much. It didn't do it much as a painting, cool. but they did have a really cool wow effect. And I, I do know I how saw to, people's faces. They were like. Oh. <laughs> well, I, we, yeah, I and mean, that was... I'm sorry, I forgot you couldn't see what it, my face was. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, he had a really cool facial expression. If you can imagine a, a dumbfounded Yeah, it, it was dumbfounded. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, my God. We, we had these kids in the crowd, like, they were all like, oh, wait, I'm, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? And then, then you go, is it a Pegasus? Is it Angel yeah. Wings? And then and Dad was like, they're your wings. They're Basically, yours. when it and came down to it. It was like exploding minds yeah, out there. Yeah, well, <laughs> that was the point. The Guys, I, okay, so I, I will put, especially with this show, I will put an image on theartcast.com. You can go there and see. Uh, you'll see this uh, YouTube link mm-hmm. on that page, Just throw and up I'll a put the image the, in there. The yeah, video. I'll put. <laughs> <laughs> As we're talking about it, throw up the in- image. I, <laughs> I will uh, definitely and throw up my face when I was dumbfounded. <laughs> yeah, I will. Um, <laughs> I promise. I keep giggling, laughing. I can't even talk here. Um, I will. I will. You'll be able to see what we're talking about but basically the the goal to to help you backtrack just a little bit to help people understand mm-hmm. what was happening uh the city of Greer was opening up a, an art center in fact they call it uh the city of Greer Center for the Arts um and it's an incredible place. I know we hyped it before, uh, sounding like a big bunch of hype. It wasn't intended to be like that. It was intended to try to express exactly what this place is 
And it's a place where you uh, will have to go to the City of Greer's website and get all the do's and don'ts of how you can set up times to get in there and see all the incredible artists that have stuff in there. Some of these artists, and I met one I didn't tell you about, but I met one of these guys, older fella, so funny, but I saw his pieces look very much like Van Gogh stuff. Really? Incredible. In- like, really good. Yes. Yeah, everything you're getting ready to say. <laughs> yes, because he <laughs> was cool. And then he told me, he said, so you're here to finish up and clean up, right? And I said, yeah, this was a couple of days ago. And he said, yeah, I watched. You know, he was, he, he as an artist, one artist to another, you can appreciate each other. That's what that's about. Um, so he, um, he, 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 he gave his thoughts on how the crowd built like yeah. that. And the lady that was over at Miss Robin Bayou, Bayou she, um, she said, and these are her words, okay, not mine, that it was one of the best of the different things that they had there because of the interaction mm-hmm. with people I de- I think and how people built. The show. And like, that, that's what I, I wanted. At the I, very I didn't, end, when the wings are done, yes. well, they weren't completely done because... No, they weren't. We, had, I went, we went and worked a little bit well, more. I mean, they weren't completely done because you asked people to come up on stage I, and paint on, the, on your that, canvas, that was which is point. never before like done. People but, don't, an artist people is don't usually typically very do that. particular yeah, about Yeah, don't, don't touch my da- stuff. Dad was just, all right, No, bring it in. Hey, guys, come on, get your paintbrush. Yeah, get your paintbrush. I literally, at the very end, in the story that I was telling, trying to help people see that how you can find lift and and move in your life, that for me it was you know my my wings that were they got repaired, got They're fixed. Your wings too. And, and at, I was trying to relate to people that yeah. in that connection, my statement was that with my uh, this person that came into my life, she uh, you know my soulmate. Lots of stuff like that that I tried to give people pictures mm-hmm. that in my life. She came in and helped me remember that I did have wings and I can yeah. have lift. And she just kind of gave me this question of why, why am I in this yucky place in my life? And, uh, and it, you know, we've come a long way. We've come a then. long a way. And that two way. years, it's been an, uh, an, an, it's been a roller coaster. <laughs> it's been an amazing, not always fun ride, but that's the one person that, uh, that, helped for me personally on a personal level Mm -hmm. that one of the peoples in my life that's been there but for her specifically Sai Sai is her name I'll just go ahead and say it (laughs) Sai has uh has helped me see that I am better than the place that I found myself in and reminding me of so much and then kind of inspiring me to push ahead and to to find lift to, to mm-hmm. levitate over all of this crap in my life and when i gave that as part of the cru- yeah. the the bottom foundation of my speaking of my interacting with people yeah. as i would go back to the microphone i tried to look at these people in the crowd and say who are you connected with and for me with the community of greer being such an incredible artistic community i was trying to basically say you have to have somebody yeah. in this community that you've connected with that can help you find lift and wing, uh, wings and levitate. And when I said, I want to take my picture in front of these wings because I want to remember this moment. And then I said, now, how about you? How about you? Would you want to, to mark this moment in your life where you remember mm-hmm. that you can get over all this crap that's happening in your life? Um, and if you do... The only rule that I give is that you walk up here, take a paintbrush, and paint a feather in the wings, and then you can take a picture. That, that was that was like amazing, and like people, all these little kids, they came up there and they did that, and they sat on the stool, and then it, I, 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 I thought I saw the moms and the dads <laughs> yeah, almost like, as if I could. I, I don't, it's hard for the big kids, yeah. you know, adults to 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 risk and 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 risk embarrassment or whatever yeah. to do something like that. But there were several of the parents that I really thought to I myself, to go up there myself, they were doing but I saw it. How long that line well, was? That, <laughs> I was 
<laughs> what I saw in the parents' eyes, uh, a, a connection of like as if they were using their kids to say, this is really what I want. Yeah. And uh, and I'm going to use them because it's kind of a childlike thing. Some of them even thing. stood in like the very back and took a picture. Like, oh, they, man. they didn't even want to be associated it, to that going was, up there. But that was the moment when I was trying to tell you guys yeah. before we got there, my sons, as we were trying to tell them how this was going to unfold. I didn't know exactly, but what my goal was that it, I didn't care if I painted the best painting I've ever done. That wasn't my goal. Mm -hmm. My goal was to connect with the people in this crowd. If it was five or it was 50, I didn't care. And with that in mind, at the end, hopefully they will interact. Mm -hmm. And they did to the point that when uh, Miss Robin came up and said, hey, I've got people behind you coming next in the show. Can we, you know, can we move this? She was basically, she saw the line building and was almost like, oh, my God, it'll never get done. Mm-hmm. And uh, I said, okay, well, what we did was move this, by the way, 10-foot long yeah. piece. Yeah, it took uh, me, in, in Toby, five and pieces. To yeah, it was move it over. Toby is three, uh, dad's friend. Yeah, he, he came up there and helped us. We All three of us, we picked it up and we moved it into the hallway. And I just helped guide it to keep yeah. it from falling off. But basically, <laughs> yeah. it was I'm trying to keep five from pieces. In the face, yeah, <laughs> five pieces of two, two by four feet. Um, up vertical. Yeah. So think of five two foot pieces uh, side by side with about an inch and a half in between. That's how the canvas is laid out. And uh, so when you see it on the wall, and again, you'll see that in the photo, it, uh, it was, it's pretty impressive. So yeah. we moved it literally, to, told the crowd to give us some space. We walked slowly through this auditorium got into the hallway, set it up against the hallway, and then we kept painting, and yeah. then people kept coming up. And um, and uh, for me, a really special moment. Uh, doing this with, with you guys, Chan, with you, Ty, and Dawson, um, it made it incredible for me. <laughs> and Ty said he was, was like so... Like, he was supposed to hand out business cards and talk, he, he so said, but I got lost in it, Dad. He said, I forgot to... <laughs> I said, it's okay, buddy. We we all kind of just love the moment. Yeah. All of us did. We've all talked about that. I, you know, you know I'll get Dawson in here before he leaves to go to the Navy. We yeah. are going to get Dawson in here to, to share some, some of his heart. But I, um, at the very end, I got to uh, video call Cy and share in that moment with her. Did you see me do that? No, I didn't. You were, I, 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 think I we're figured you were getting, back like, trying to get uh, the rest of the stuff, yeah. but I got the video call, Sai, and, um, and that was, there was one person that was up there doing I got I turned the camera around so she could see. And uh, for me, that was a very special moment because I wanted her to see. see I had she, to use my phone for the music, by the way, so I couldn't do any like during the show stuff. And so when I grabbed my phone back, I was like, Sai, look, you got to see this. You got to see this. Thank you. I'm literally on my own video looking at her in front of all these people. Like, they don't know what I'm saying. Did you see she posted something on her Insta about you? Who did? Uh, Sai. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> thank you, baby. <laughs> I did. I'll, I'll go look yeah. at it. But I did the, um, I, I, I did the video call. For me, it kind of sealed the, uh, the cap, the, the moment of, look, baby, look what you did. Look what you started. Look how you inspired and got me. And, uh, and, and to be able to do it with, with my sons, I, um, you know, if Dawson... And Dawson does leave soon. Sorry, I can't help it. I, I tear <laughs> up. It's it's emotional for me. But uh, if if that's the last show we get to all get to do together, I uh, I made sure everything within me that I was going to enjoy that moment. Mm-hmm. Like I said, if there were five people or fifty people, I didn't care. I wanted it to be that special. From the moment we set up in that auditorium, I kicked off some music. And then we started setting up, putting plastic down, putting drop cloths down, then put the big uh, easels that I had to modify mm. to hold 10, yep. 10 feet of Me and Dawson like, took it from down on the on backstage stage to, yeah, to down. down to the floor. And as soon as that happened, I just started moving stuff yeah, around. Yeah, we started seeing people like, kind of come in like, what then are you the, doing? What is that? <laughs> yeah, and, and the lady that's over at Miss Robin, she walked up and said, oh, this is impressive. Just because of 
the the way we, we put, put the together. easels together. Yeah, we put it together backstage. Like yeah, as twenty if, minutes before. Yeah, and, and and basically taking two actual mm-hmm. art easels and having to connect them with more wood. I and then I painted everything black so that it would all match and fit together. Yeah. So you wouldn't think, oh my gosh, is this thing gonna fall? And obviously it didn't because it, I made it solid. Yeah, and then. Uh, and after looking at the set, and the set basically was a recreation of the studio that we're in right now. Yeah. Like, literally, I grabbed some stools, uh, the table that I use, and just re, basically redid the studio. So when, when you were watching this thing, you were taking a peek into how, how we paint all the time. And that was the goal, again, to connect. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily do some big flashy boom, boom, boom show, performance show, even though we did some performing, yeah. uh, I really wanted people to, to grab it and own it and be able to, every time they go into that building, to the center of the arts of the city of Greer, that they can walk up to that painting and go, yeah, that, that feather right there, that's mine. Mm-hmm. I painted that one. Or in most of the parents' case, uh, my, my daughter painted that or my son painted that, and they can, you know, they can make their claim that yeah. this is theirs too, so... Now this 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 story right here. This is definitely going on Jimmy Fallon once we make it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll have to tell with Jimmy, uh, and, and and he'll have Justin there that night too. Yeah. Justin Timberlake, <laughs> he's he's my man crush. I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna be uh, coy about it. Uh, they both we've done. Uh, you'll have to go to our, our oh, looking yeah, back, at back like oh my years this is ago. years ago. We used to do uh, they, when they, Jimmy and Justin used to do history of rap, the little history of rap mm-hmm. segments. And uh, when we would travel between school and my apartment, we'd put those on and just listen over and over and over. So we ended we, up recording. We memorized all of them. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like all of and them. And then like years later when we went back and like did like a recap of it, we still had mem- you, memorized you still all of it. You still remember it. So we, <laughs> yeah. So you'll have to listen. If you're listening to this art, this podcast, the art cast, you're, you somehow, you had to get to the YouTube uh, 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 page somehow, some way, go into our channel and uh, and take a peek through some of that fun stuff in there. You uh, we, will we've have got, uh, a blast. Hear my beautiful voice singing. Uh, Don't stop believing. You know. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, we did. Oh, we did all kind of fun stuff. You gotta. You gotta listen. You want to get to know us. I still wish it was more like lip sync. Three, you know, but three. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not not hearing our actual voices. Oh uh, my god. Our gosh. preteen voices. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that the, yes, to to we took a little bit of a segue mm-hmm. there, but yes, mm-hmm. when uh, Jimmy Fallon uh, gets us on the show, uh, we will uh, reference that we've talked about him already, and uh, and that'll be a, an amazing connection. Yeah, we're already gonna get copy striked, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> who cares? I we're gonna we 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 don't we own us and mm-hmm. we own this. It's not like we're getting paid to do this. You so. can't, <laughs> yes, you can't fuzz at me for saying what I want. Oh my gosh. So. All right, so just this was just a little bit of a, a an after show afterglow, so to speak, uh, to be cheesy about the wording. I don't care. Um, but uh, we wanted to share in our thoughts afterwards. Uh, by the way, the the next step in that, uh, I was invited um, by the the same group that got us there, by the city of Greer, Miss uh, Miss Robin Bayouk, uh, the cultural arts uh, director there, to uh, to have an actual exhibition show. Um, I uh, we didn't talk about when. Um, I think I'm going to see about the first of the year, mm-hmm. first of 2020. Uh, that way, when you uh, can come to the exhibition, uh, I will uh, have several, several pieces, 10, 15, or however many they want, uh, hanging there. I actually, I don't know that they're going to know it or not, but I'm actually going to have ch- a few of Chan Lee's stuff there as well, just so you can take a peek into the heart of the art group itself, or at least the beginning stages of it. Gotta get our crap together first. Though. Well, no. we <laughs> just we we're we're getting, but with school happening and some other stuff, which it's is why rough. we've taken a yeah. month off. We we've really had to refocus on some other stuff. But that's what you do, and you mm-hmm. flow in that sense. Um, and once that happens, uh, we will definitely let you know when the uh, the uh, the exhibition happens, and we'll probably do some live. Um, Life painting then to mm-hmm. shoot. I may get you on the cha- stage, Chan, and you can enjoy that moment too. But 
But we'll uh, we'll cross I'll all those bridges. You paint a feather. feather. <laughs> no, we we're not doing wings on that show. We'll do something something different, and it'll be amazing, uh, fun, and in, uh, for me uh, to to do it again like that. So mm-hmm. anyway, I you know what I I think I've you know rambled enough on this. I Chan I I have to say this um, publicly. Uh, it was it was an incredible moment, but. Uh, but because I got to do it with you and, um, and with Dawson and with Ty, but specifically because you're sitting here, I can say that to you, uh, to your face. You know, mm-hmm. it was an incredible moment. I'm so thankful for all the hard work that you put in just on a practical sense from carrying stuff to setting up stuff, fighting your phone to try yeah. to get some shots yeah, I had and to pictures keep going and video. on stage, backstage. And uh, like, to try to get your phone to, to work. It. Yeah. It, I, but I, I felt like the most I could contribute was labor <laughs> you, you uh, no it was much more than that son much much more your your uh connectedness was how uh in my opinion is how we were able to uh, to make this thing um a special special moment so all right well i uh we can uh we're gonna do uh we'll do another show much sooner than a month out because we've actually discussed a couple of topics we're gonna do um uh, we even have another one specifically for Chan. Yeah, I've I got a new get... piece in the works. I just, yeah. I just started today. Today. Like, so like I just got this inspiration, and I laid up three canvases, and um, I've got actually quite a decent bit done for today. So, yeah, we'll talk about that. So you can kind of get a, uh, a peek into the, the creative process, which is what I wanted mm-hmm. with this podcast, is I wanted people to, to hear um, not just the ramblings of some creative artsy guys but to take a peek into the uh, the process itself yeah and uh, we'll talk about you know where it came from the idea and then the rule of three and all these things that we will give you uh, a peek into and then when you see the finished product you'll kind of you'll be able to to connect Mm -hmm. with it much deeper so but anyway um i'm good you good yeah (laughs) all right well hey thanks for listening um not quite as long as some of our other ones, but uh, but we we promise not to ramble just for ramble's sake. We promise yeah. to uh, have a point where mm. we're going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, until next time, guys. Thanks for listening. Peace and love. And peace.